why do you think there is this preconceived notion that a ketogenic diet can be harmful for kidney health? Really good question. It's definitely not founded in science. Right? So there are no papers out there, no clinical studies where anyone put people on a keto diet and found all their kidneys to fail. Right? That doesn't exist. And I think there's a lot of misunderstanding. Almost everybody in the medical profession seems to confuse ketosis and ketoacidosis. That's one weird thing. And you know, I think that has to do with it being taught wrong, even in medical school. Right? So if some textbooks even get it completely wrong. Right? It's kind of a mishmash between ketosis and ketoacidosis. So can't really blame the doctors necessarily you know, for getting it yeah, maybe getting wrongly educated, if you will. But I think that has stuck with so many people when they hear keto, anything, they're thinking ketoacidosis, oh, that must kill my patient, let's stay away from it. Another misconception is, of course, the whole protein idea that protein is harmful for kidneys, which blows my mind that it is so you know ingrained in everyone's mind because clearly the number one cause of chronic kidney disease is not protein <laughs> in excess. It's, of course, carbohydrates in excess and type 2 diabetes, right? You know, insulin resistance, that's what's causing chronic kidney disease, right? So it's the carbs, not the proteins, and there's just nothing out there again that says that you know excess protein causes chronic kidney disease